Okay, so in this video we're going to have a look at the list view and detail views. So if we go to a parts list, or the parts area, and you can see in here, so we've got our list view in here. So this gives us various bits of information, SKU numbers, name, description, so on and so forth. So this is kind of your snapshot of what's going on in your inventory. Now you can actually order these as well, so if you just click on a header, then you can sort them ascending or descending. Okay, so you can organize those how you want, and you can actually drag these around as well. So, if you wanted to put description at the front there, okay, so you can drag these into any position that you want as well to reorganize those list views so you can actually see them as you wish. Um, you can see another couple of things here in the list view. So, here we've got this one highlighted in green, so this is the actual one that we're on in our list view at the moment, and then we've got this one highlighted in red. So, if there's anything in red, that means it's actually in alert. So if we were to go into our one that's in alert, for example, we can click in here, we can see the detailed view, and in here this is where you put in all your information, so more details about it, so the part name, category, sizes, manufacturer's ID and so forth. This is where you'll add in your purchases. We've got more info for dimensions, weights and volumes in this case, and part history, for example. So that's all the detailed view in there. And we can also see in here that we have our alerts, um, which is why this one was in red. So the total units in stock was 1.4, and the alert units was two alerts when it's actually got two in stock. So that's why we have an alert there. So it's quite simple, really, with the uh, detailed view. It's where you're going to put in all your information about any parts or whatever it might be, invoices, pieces, etc. And go back to the list view. If we click on the parts list at the top here in this example, Okay, then we can see basically a quick snapshot and we can organize that however we wish to view our snapshot of our inventory.